is Brandy, and today I want to start off with a quick review of the, the Clinique 2-in-1 Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I've been using the color Sand, which is a medium neutral, for about a year, and I haven't been happy with how my foundation has come out. So I found out that my undertones are actually a golden and not a medium neutral, so that's why it looked a little bit ashy. So I got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in Cream Caramel, which is the color 21, which is a medium golden. The color I was using before was the 18, which is the sand and medium neutral. So we are gonna start off just to see about a color match. I do love this foundation already, but this is more so just about color matching and see all day long um, how this looks out. So I'm gonna start off with the primer. Beauty sponge, and the other half I'm going to use with a kabuki brush. That looks kind of orange, actually. It comes with a sponge applicator, which I actually really like. That makes for an easy application. What I actually like to do is, I say it's wrong, I don't know, but oh my God, this is like really orange. I don't know about this. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm not too sure about this. I mean, I guess once it starts blending, it looks okay, but it goes on like really orange. As you can see the difference. I guess maybe some people's foundation goes on like that. I don't know. I don't know, it looks orange. <laughs> if you can see it. And then this side, I like to just use my finger. And then I guess I'll blend it with the other thing. I mean, I guess it matches my shoulder, but my face is not this color. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back and see if maybe this color will oxidize, and I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here is the final look, and I think it has settled down a little bit, so I'll check in with you uh, later and give you guys an update. I'm back with an update, and it has been about seven and a half hours. It's now about 9.30 at night since I have applied the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I actually love how the color came out. Once it finally oxidized into my skin, it blended, uh, and then after also highlighting and contouring and adding everything together, I think it worked out a lot better than my other makeup that I was previously wearing, which was the color Sand in the medium neutral. Um, as you can see, I've wore this, this makeup foundation for about seven and a half hours. I don't have, uh, it still has pretty good coverage, um, not too oily, even though I do have oily skin, especially in my T-zone and my cheeks area. I've been out hiking. Well, I didn't go on a full hike, but we went out to the wilderness, uh, took a semi-hike and we went to the mall, we found some snow. Um, at the mall, they were having some like man-made snow that was blowing, so there's been snow all over my face. I eaten, had a nice dinner, some tea at Starbucks, and I had a pretty full day. So as you can see, the makeup has held up pretty nicely. I would definitely recommend the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I've used this before, but in a different shade, and today was more of a testing of the shade to see how it blended, and I would say after it oxidized, the orangeness went away, and I'm definitely happy with the results. I hope that you like this video. 
Uh, if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do. And leave a comment in the section below what foundation do you use? I would love to know. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.